unless you ask me a question, right? Right. Okay. So, can you tell us about um, the interview that you had with Fox 29 and the results that you got from the interview? Yeah, it, it was it was really wonderful. Uh, Joyce Evans and her cameraman Shane uh, came here and spent almost three hours on the block talking to neighbors, talking to the kids, and um, and filming. And uh, it, it, they were trying to understand this whole struggle with the USDA that I was having. And so it, it did get a little confusing for her because she said she felt about as frustrated as I must have felt because she was not getting answers. Um, the most interesting thing that came out of the whole, I guess my little 15 minutes of fame, <laughs> um, was that other women in uh, surrounding areas and here in Philly were trying to do the same thing and they were telling me horror stories about how they were treated, either by the municipal government or, uh, you know, just uh, one person uh, shared with me that she had a very similar operation to this, but it was outside the city of Philadelphia. And they gave her a huge, she had a huge problem to the point where it, it destroyed the business that she had. She was trying to help people in the community also. And uh, it was an eye-opener to me because they, they make you feel like, she said, in my town I'm known as the crazy lady. I said, wow, me too. So you try to do something in your community, and if you really keep fighting for it and pushing for it and aggravating people, then the first thing they do is they label you. That's the crazy lady. And, I'm, and then somebody else called with the same story. And I was like, that's crazy. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Like, we got to talk about this, mm -hmm. that they're systematically, it's not that I'm the only one doing it, it's that a whole bunch of people been trying to do it, and they're so good at stopping us from doing things for our community. And who they are, it could be anybody. Who's stopping me? You know, the zoning. You know, um, why'd they send somebody out here to try to accuse me of having a... a illegal business before they went to the corner store is that is all the garbage up there on the corner oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. they came down here to try to intimidate me soon as i started asking questions about zoning here they sent a, a guy who put a note in my door and said i want to talk to you about what business you're running here and i'm thinking i'm at work what are you talking about you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he thought he was going to come here and find an illegal daycare and he thought that's why i was so adamant about having the food program. He thought it was a legal daycare here. And I said, how'd you ride by that mountain of garbage up the street to come here and mess with me? Yeah, but when I started hearing other women telling me I was tutoring kids uh, at my business and all of a sudden the municipality started to come at me. And then somebody else said, oh, well you don't deal with this person because they're gonna cause you a problem. Why are we getting caused the problem for trying to do what women naturally do in their community? You know, which is teach the children. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us about the donations and yep. um, what you're doing with the money and how you're reaching out to the community? Yes. Okay. So, uh, the GoFundMe already had four thousand dollars in it, and so we got about four thousand more. And I went to about seven families on the block, and I said, hey, look, here's what we got. Um, so in order to go through zoning, you have to get something called a tax, a tax clearance. Uh, uh -huh. And I know that there's past due property tax on this building because I was paying things out of my pocket, and I was paying the property tax little by little. So the $4,000 Four, around four or five hundred of that will pay for the property tax to make sure all the property tax is up to date. Then uh, about seven hundred will pay for a liability insurance policy uh, that'll cover any children coming here, and that's a million dollar policy. And a thousand dollars for the kids' learning materials. And uh, there's a house 
uh, down the street that the neighbors want to rehab because some of that rat problem is because we have so many abandoned houses and dry sewer lines. So the subterranean rats are coming to the surface and coming in people's houses. So we want to take $1,000 and try to work with that owner and find funding to buy and rehab that property. Uh, no thanks to our CDC, which has not helped us after two years of request. A um, thousand, and then uh, the people on the block are considering a cooperative business, which is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, that we might be able to blend uh, all that we're doing uh, and use these funds, because the funds have to be used for Reach Street. You know, but if we can blend what we're doing with the co-op business group with uh, something that can help the neighbors. And see, I invited them to come talk about it, but nobody showed up. But they did say that they would support mm -hmm. this idea. So I didn't want to talk about the idea on camera yet because I wanted to tell you guys about it. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Do I have, can I put you on camera? No. You don't have to. Yeah. So if it were a man that was doing the same thing, do you think that they would offer the man help? Do you think that they would support the man? Do you think that they would stop? That is a, in, that's an interesting question. And I think that in our culture, which is African-American culture, if a man would come forward and say he wants to do something for his community, I think it would be more respected than it is when we say we're going to do it. Because, I mean, it's a female at zoning who's causing me a problem. It, um, and I'm, I'm just going to keep it real, because I want to keep it real on this. If it's a foreign-born female down at the municipal service building that's causing me a problem, if a man came there, and, and which is it's a man, that other zoning application where she did the right thing was filed by a man. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it would be more respected and not questioned. When I go to zoning, I'm questioned heavily. I'm told that I can't do what I want to do. Everything is rethought out. And uh, but if uh, I think if a man does it, it's more respected. Any follow-up question? Okay. Well, I just want to say um, congratulations for the work that you're doing and the outreach. Thank you. And I appreciate everybody. Everybody, is, it, this has really been a group effort because the Facebook group that you're in, if I hadn't started it two years ago and if people hadn't uh, been supportive and then me seeing what other people are doing and then, you know, conversating and getting opinions and stuff, it takes all of us working together. That, that's what it takes. I couldn't have did, I wouldn't have did this if it was just me. You know, but we kind of did it as a community. You see me struggling through this, right? But you see, it's peaceful. Yeah, after you get a rhythm. I didn't have a rhythm at first. Yeah, now I can just sit here and talk and do this. Different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities different that it's hard. Hard. It, seems hard. it seems challenging. It seems challenging. It's challenging. I don't say it's hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, um, so, so, I'm ready for, I'm this, ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think that we, all have, we all have a purpose in life, and mine's going to take on a task that most of us back away 